Welcome back to another video and today I don't plan on actually adding anything really new to the system but well I have a few things that are starting to annoy me a little bit and one of them is that whenever I move my items let's say from the player slots to the equipment you can see it asks me for a acceptance also the same thing happens for the backpack and it happens basically everywhere in the chest as well and same goes for the shop what I want to do is remove this request on all of them except for the shop I want to have it enabled for the shop so that it would ask me about this uh, when I sell the things but for everything else I want it to be removed so let's begin since we have already set up so much logic in this system System, it's going to be quite simple and and quite quick so let's go to our UI and we need to go to our UI confirm by first because well I do want to run through this script because this thing right now holds the logic for the chest and store uh, buying items from them so taking items out of the chest and buying them in the store so we're gonna do some changing over here and so what I want to do is add a new custom event and I'm gonna call this skip question and I will just plug that into the same location where the yes button goes so whenever we click yes we are doing some kind of a code moving things around and well skip question is going to do exactly the same thing so now we have created this now let's go back to our UI folder let's open up our amount selection and let's actually launch this we are actually using the same principle in our amount selection that we are about to apply for our confirm buy. Whenever we move just one item, we just directly run the move an item and we don't use the yes button event. So what I will do is let's let's copy this, create UI, create our confirm buy, and then let's copy all of these things. Let's plug those in. So we need the slot, we need the item, which is actually coming from down here so let's plug that in let's plug in the source direction and the item index and let's also connect our player reference now from the player we can go to the top from the equipment as well inventory as well and same goes for the chest only the shop will go down and then from the create widget from the top one we can just simply skip the question and once we've skipped the question then we can connect this to the remove from parent now let's give it a go and let's see how this works and hope it works the way we want it to. So bring weapon over here. There we go. You can see instantly it doesn't ask us for anything. It is moving items like we want them to without asking for a permission. Now with the shop, uh, as of this point, we can move to the shop and it's not going to ask us for a permission. If we move it back, well, then it is asking for a permission. So we've got to make sure that it is asking for a permission once we sell an item. So back in our amount selection, what we want to do is let's actually select this, uh, let's select the whole thing except for the switch. Let's bring this whole thing back a little bit and actually this is really messy. So I'm just going to copy the remove from parent node and I will plug that in directly in the cast failed in the false uh, because those were going to the back and it's creating us a lot of wires overlapping one another connected to the default pin as well and well well now this looks way cleaner now what I want to do at the top so from the rest of the pins except for the shop what I want to do is do a if branch check because I only want to have request on only one of those if you want to have on multiple then you might want to do another switch and you want to do the switch on the direction so I'm gonna get the direction and I'm gonna check if the direction is equal to shop so whether we are going to the shop so um, actually to make to make this so that the true goes to the top and the false goes to the bottom I will actually check if this is not equal to the shop so if it's not equal to the shop then it will return true and then we can go to the top if it is shop then it's going to return false because well it is equal to the shop and then it can go to the bottom and request a permission so now let's compile and save this and let's try this with the shop now so now walk up to the store try to sell an item yes it asks us for a permission let's give it another go and then all the rest of these are working just fine like they should and now if we buy an item it is asking for a permission and it seems to be working the way it should 
So that's going to be it for this video and really quickly I wanted to remind you that I'm closing in on 5000 subscribers and once I hit it all my Discord members will have a free download link to this exact project for 24 hours. So make sure to subscribe and join my Discord so you don't miss out on downloading this project for free. So yeah, see you guys in the next one.